What's going on, everybody? Welcome into Talk and Grizz. This is our off-season edition. We're talking drafts, prospects, all of the above. And now we have gone down to the number four pick. So joining me from, he's actually in Victoria right now, but joining me from, um, to represent the Toronto Raptors is Doug Smith, a sports writer for the Toronto Star, who's been covering the Raptors forever. <laughs> yeah, seems like it. No, right. actually, it has been forever. <laughs> it, it really, like, it honestly has. So I think you are the perfect person to talk to me about what is going to happen with the Raptors in this draft, in this off season, obviously a very difficult season. We just talked about having them in Tampa, not really having a home. Now going into this, Kyle Lowry is an unrestricted free agent. They've got the number four pick for the first time. I think I looked it up. The last time the Raptors had a top five pick was JV back in 2011, 2010. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So it's been, a, it's been a while. So they've got this opportunity been. now to get, you know, a good young player. What's it look like for them? Well, they got, they got a bunch of needs. They, they don't have – basically, they don't have a center under contract. Ken Birch and is a, a restricted free agent, so they'll probably resign him. But they don't have a center under contract. The Lowry issue is clouding a lot of things. So they, you know, he could come back. They could sign and trade him. They could let him walk. They don't have a backup three behind OG and OB. Pascal Siakam going to miss the first month of the season after shoulder surgery. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of things out there that, that are in play. You know, none, none, are, none are crippling in their own, but there's a lot of issues that they got to deal with. So in your mind, do they deal with all this stuff like in their minds before they look at who they're drafting or do they pick kind of that top talent and then juggle the balls around that? Yeah, I, I think they'll make the pick and then figure it out from there and deal, deal with, the Lowry situation in August when free agencies opens and they'll deal with it. Like, I'm sure they'll get Birch back. I think there's probably a wink and a nod handshake agreement in there now, but it's not done yet. But I think they'll just pick the best player available and make Nick Nurse figure it out. Okay. So I think it's kind of unanimous that everyone is like, Cade Cunningham's going number one, right? Yeah, to be. So <laughs> if you look at the other top guys, is there anyone that you're high on that you think could fit the Raptors system well? Well, I think Mobley is a perfect fit. You know, a young big who's who's very accomplished, and they, they don't have anybody at his position. He would be he would be the dream pick, but I can't see him getting down to four. Uh, maybe there's a way, but I would be really surprised if he did. But yeah, he he would be the guy if they had to. You know, Cunningham obviously, but the guy to fit their needs, Mobley would be the perfect one of the rest of them. Yeah, I I actually do agree with that too, especially. Um, the Raptors looking for that like big seven foot. Yeah. I mean, he stretches the floor well. Um, so let's just pretend then Mobley's off the table. It kind of leaves you with, I mean, both the Jalen's right. Jalen Green, Jalen Suggs are the two yeah. kind of, like top guys. I know there's another couple names sprinkled in there, but do either of those guys fit a Raptors need? I think they like Suggs a little bit more than Green, but I don't, you know, it, you know, this age is disinformation and, and misdirection from everybody you talk to. No one tells you the truth between now and July 29th, that's for sure. But I think Suggs probably fits them better. I think that might be the guy who's there. I think, yeah, him and Green, Scotty Burns in Florida might be a guy that, they're, that they would be in the conversation. But I think it's going to come down to which of the Jalen's drops to them. Okay, so this is, this is going to be my question for you then because we're doing our mock draft. So I'm going to yeah. give you – I'll put up the screen right now what the mock draft looks like All so right. everyone at home can see it. That means Kate Cunningham went number one. Jalen Green went number two to Houston, and then Mobley number three. So if you are on the clock right now, who are you choosing for this Raptors team? You are Masai Ujiri right now for the next 30 seconds. Man, I'm really rich. I'm going to go buy some new clothes or something <laughs> like that. Um, I, I, I'm taking Jalen Suggs. I, he's, you know, he, he's got the leadership qualities I think they need. He, he feels a positional need in that backcourt, um, and he's a winner. And, and I think that they like him a lot, and I think his, his personality seems to fit the Raptor culture, which is a word I hate, but it's one that exists. And I think if he's the guy there, then they'd be quite happy. Again, I think they would love Mobley, but if Suggs is there, they'll be just take him and run and, and figure out where he plays and who he plays with in September. I love that you said it fits like the Raptors culture, even though you hate that word, because we saw um, Freddie Gillespie this year go from the Memphis hustle yeah. to the Raptors. And I feel like he fit just like so perfectly into what the Raptors are doing this year or last year. Yeah. Yeah, they got a, they got a lot of hope for him for Freddie uh, Freddie G. You see, you know, like you know, he's a good hustling young talent who works hard, keeps his nose clean, does what we need him to do. I'm sure he'll be back. I don't know. I'm not sure if he's a backup center yet or if he's a third center right now. But he's got 
he's got the skills and the personality, the work ethic that the Raptors just loved. They, they loved him. Teammates loved him. Coaches loved him. Manager was glad to have him. And he came from the team with the, one of the best names in basketball, the hustle. I love the hustle. It is a good name, right? They it have a good name. hustle, hustle and grind. Yep. I like it too, obviously. Um, <laughs> Doug, thank you. The Raptors have so many balls in the air, so it's going to be interesting, um, you know, at the end of the month to see what ends up happening. But you're going to take Suggs. I'm going to write that down. There you go. Doug Smith, Jalen Suggs. We'll see how it goes. It's interesting, actually, that you like Suggs more than Green, and Green was already taken, so it actually kind of worked out. Yeah, personally, I think Suggs has the, the skills and the personality that fit this team. Um, and I think Nick Nurse would love coaching him. Perfect. There we go. Thank right. you Doug, so very much. And Grizzlies fans, stay tuned. We've got more next week uh, on grindsmedia.com.